depending on. Oh, I think that's going to work just that's fine. Sweet. All right. Let's Here, I'm going to squeeze by you. And we'll wait till exactly 11 to get started because that's when. Okay. You're in there too, Carol. No. This is my computer, Dad, and I'm going to. Which hold one? It. It's my computer. Oh. <laughs> oh. So it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> what it fun. Is. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our live uh, Facebook broadcast yeah. today. I am, my name is Carol Himmelhoek, and I couldn't be more pleased oh. and honored to be here with two very special people and a, actually a third special person who will stick his nose in the frame. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, <You have room. laughs> but this is Denise Murray. Uh, when she worked at the store, her name was Denise Jingle. Jingle. That was before she was married. But uh, yeah, we have, we, oh. and this is my dad. This is Chuck Himmelhoek, third generation um, Himmelhoek, who actually ran Himmelhoek's department store for 35 years. And yeah. uh, <laughs> and he, he's joining us now at 99 and a half years of age. So You're we right. are, he's just such an incredible inspiration to us all. I'm and, 99. <laughs> And a half. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> so we're looking forward to celebrating your 100th birthday. That will be awesome. And then my brother Chip is uh, also part of uh, the fourth generation Hill Homes. And oh. he's here too. And uh, it's just hard in the, <laughs> in the frame to be able to fit everybody together because it's just, uh, we can't orient it to my knowledge horizontally. Yeah. Exit stage left. Yeah, exit <laughs> stage left. So anyway, we're having a little bit of a, a reunion here, and we thought that we would invite you to our reunion. Yeah. So, I don't know, Denise, there's so many memories. Denise is the first person I worked for. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? Yes, yes. When uh, you, at my first job, I reported yeah. to you. Oh, you Vivian were, Asaki. Vivian, Vivian Asaki. Who was, was God a, bless her, yeah. you know, who's passed away, unfortunately, but she was I wonderful. I didn't know that. Yes, yeah. she, Chip was at the, yes, yeah. she, unfortunately, she passed away yeah, um, several was. years ago. She was such a, ble a oh, wonderful, I loved her. Oh, everyone my loved Vivian, you know, she was a store manager Vivian in Birmingham. Asaki, yeah. Shania, she was that, no. Vivian <laughs> Shania, who then became it, Vivian that's Asaki. The name I remember. Vivian. Yeah, yeah, Shania, yeah. 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 But I remember my first day going to work, I wore a sundress, and my mother told me not to wear it. You know, this is at the store at Himmelhoek in Birmingham. My mother told me not to wear it. I wore it anyways, and Miss Mayberry came up to me. Who, Miss Mayberry? Hi, Molly. Sorry. Worked in the better dress department. Oh, I knew Miss. Yeah. Oh, I know. And <laughs> she had that way about her, and yeah. said, "No, you cannot wear that." And she gave me a sweater to wear that day, and it was hotter <laughs> than half, and said I had to wear it. But Miss Mayberry wasn't she wonderful? I oh. mean, that woman could sell thousands of dollars of clothes. Isn't she, it, boy, I remember that like yesterday. Yeah. Is that that so? Chip, you were saying that was the day of really professional salespeople, exactly. and Miss Mayberry was one of those. And remember, your mother would have trunk shows at the store. She would bring in designer collections. And it was amazing how it was a buzz. Everybody that was anybody was inside the store shopping. Um, also, the fashion shows oh, we were yes. involved in at <laughs> the Village Club. Oh, that, yes. And Cranbrook. Yes. And we're actually having a fashion show on March 31st at the Detroit Yacht Club. Oh, I'll have to make <laughs> sure to come there. No, it's true. You yeah. know, and your mother, you. I'll you, be there. Yeah, right. definitely. Good. But, I'm good. You know, your mm. Isabel, she was a star, right? She'd walk into a room and everyone knew she was there. She was like the life of every party. You're talking about who now? Your wife, Isabel. Oh, Isabel. Yeah. Mm. She was she was a life of a party. I remember I used to I was her assistant for a while there. And, well, you were an assistant buyer with okay, my mom too, too right? Yeah, I was yes. an assistant buyer for yes. her. And um, she, one time she came home from New York and she was exhausted. So we sat in your bed and she wrote orders. And I wrote orders that whole day. And that's when she introduced me to her famous sardine sandwiches. Oh, gosh. Which yes. I love. <laughs> 
Oh my no, they were really good. They Most were, people would be revolted by eating a sardine sandwich. Oh but no, I sandwich. still make them to this day. Do you really? Yeah, and that was in the '80s when I worked there. You know, and yeah, I wasn't a buyer, and I remember going to New York, and the name, the Himoho store name, meant a lot in New York. People yes. would let you in, and they had such wonderful memories of the store, or you know, they really held it in high regards. Where was their office in New York? You oh, had, oh, you were part of the buying office. The Specialty yeah. Stores Store. Association. Mm -hmm. We were in the buying office with the Specialty Stores Association. Yeah, where was it? I had a Fifth oh, Avenue, I don't yeah. know, somewhere. I, yeah, yeah, I don't remember it. I was wondering where, where the office huh. had moved to. And, yeah. yeah, and actually Nordstrom was in the office with us, right? Yeah. And uh, who were some of the other stores, Dad? Uh, how about, um, uh, when were the closest to them? Um, Seagulls? No. Seagulls. Seagulls. B. Seagull. No, no, no. But they weren't in the buying office. No, they were. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, they were from around the country. Hmm? The, the yeah, yeah, there were 33 so stores from around the country. Similar stores from uh, two Himmelhoeks who were, um, hmm in different states throughout the country and and we'd go we would have staff buyers who were always right yeah. on top of what was happening in the market and then when we wanted to buy something we'd go get yeah. group discounts yeah with some of the other stores uh to be able to and they were very benefits. helpful especially when i was new they were really guiding me along so it was it was nice because you always had a representative in new york for yes. you you know so I mean, it was good. But your mother, everybody knew your mother in New York. Can you get my phone chip? Yeah. Sorry, I, oh. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. I That's forgot right. to put it on airplane okay. mode, and you know how that goes. Sorry yeah, about absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay, airplane mode. I apologize. This is live. It really well, is. That, that's what happens when you're going live on Facebook, right? Yeah. yeah. You know. Also. I, uh, yeah, I want to talk about the Dearborn story. You have, yes. I mean, even Northland. Mrs. Fisher, remember her at sure. Northland? She was wonderful. <laughs> that was that was a great store. But I managed the Dearborn store. Well, good for you. <laughs> and we had a woman there that could sell cosmetics. I mean, it was amazing the volume of work she would do. Uh, I can't. Remember, I was trying to think of her name all week, and it was. Olga or Sonia, oh. but um, but she could do tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> and when Estee Lauder would have a special, we would have people lined up, you know, lined yes. out the store just to go see her. We were so close to Ford. I think all of Ford Motor Company yes. shopped at our store. <laughs> um, and it was really a very good store. Um, we even had, it, I was telling Carol, the store, I don't know if she was aware, but we had a number of cross dressers at that time coming <laughs> into our store, mm -hmm. really because they couldn't get the shoes anywhere else or the clothes or people wouldn't wait on them. So we had a fair amount yes. of cross dressers yeah. there too as well. Uh, because of the fashion, that's what they wanted, you know. Well, every and now it's becoming... Um yeah, uh, really, a unisex fashion is exactly. a trend now, not necessarily really. differentiating by yeah. gender. But yeah. even the lingerie department, you know, your lingerie department was amazing. You know, you would go in there and you'd literally get measured for a bra. Where does that happen? You know, very few stores. Yes. Sounds funny, but it's so important. And it makes such a difference in terms of comfort. <laughs> it does. You know, now you have to really seek that out. Yeah. Um, but... Even, you know, all everybody was just wonderful. The staff was so well trained, everything. Um, you know, even we're talking about- Which store? Which store all of your stores. All the stores. All the stores were so good. Downtown? Downtown, oh, yes. Oh, our flagship you, store. You know, I gotta tell you this story. When I was little, my mother and I, this is way back, <laughs> <laughs> we took a bus downtown and she bought me a, you remember the mid-length, a midi coat, a, 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 I a, a maxi coat at oh. your store. And I remember, I, she spent a lot of money. She told me not to tell my father. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those midi and maxi coats. coats those yeah. Were, uh, I remember uh, that. And that was like my pride coat. And uh, then to think years later, I would end up working at the store. But the coat in the store made such an impression on me. Uh, you know, I always remembered it. Uh, and, 
That's wonderful. So as you look back at your time when you were working at the store, I mean, what was the experience like to be, uh, it's interesting because I was part of the family, so I wasn't technically but, yeah. an employee, but. but <laughs> no, you know what? It felt like family. Like I've made such a good friend with Pam Pappas. Oh yeah. I'm still in a dear. touch. Yeah. Oh, Pam's wonderful. Dr. Pam Pappas. Yeah. But she is such a great person. Um, she's living in Chicago now. If you're going to watch this, Pam, I'm yeah. going to send this to you. We send out a hello. Who oh, is that? Pam Pappas. Pam Pappas. Remember Pam Pappas? She was at the Birmingham store. Yeah. 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 She's, she's a doctor now, a pathologist. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's doing good. But it did feel like family. And, you know, even with you or Chip. In fact, Mr. Charles used to have Chip clean the latrine. <laughs> he would right. joke that he Four started days. from the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yes. Literally. I mean, everybody had to work, and, and that was the thing. You as a family worked together in the store, and I think we all worked together, everyone. Uh, you know, what amazed me is after the Northland store closed, these women, a lot of them were getting older at this point in time, but they literally, a lot of them died. Mrs. Fisher, right after, you know, mm. it gave them purpose. And they took such pride, and we all took such pride in the store. And I don't think anyone ever had a bad word. You know, we just loved each other. It was yeah. really, you made it a, and Mr. Charles, that goes to you. Because you really yes. made it a family type of environment, and I mean that sincerely, you know. Isabel was always in the front. Everybody knew her, but you made it feel like yeah. family. That's so true. You know, and you did. You really did. You know, it's funny because my dad um, was really ahead of his time. I mean, thinking about born in 1919. Yeah. Um he was probably one of the first who f was into promoting successful careers for women. And not only were did professional women shop at the store all the but time. Women. <laughs> yeah, yeah. women. Well, yeah. But I, um, all women, of course, but I, I recall as a little girl and growing up and into high school and as I was getting closer to mm -hmm. my graduation, he sat me down and he had a talk serious talk with me and he said you know he says i never want you to be in a position where you depend on another individual or yes. on a man to earn a living um you need to have your own independence he says i've had so many want you know the he loved the employees at the store who went through a lot of hardship and there were a lot of women who maybe started their careers after a divorce and they were yeah. kind of left penniless and so forth and and he was always concerned about the well-being of his employees and as a father he always yeah. told me never let yourself get in that position because it happens and it's I, true I, and you, you know, know even with myself i was very young when i was like only in my early 20s or you know yeah. when i was there and i was going to school part-time at night and you, you kept moving me along you know you you saw something in me, and you kept encouraging me and pushing me. You're still me. okay. I'm man. still okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still okay. Very good. But, you know, I, I think those were in my formative young adult age, you know, years. And yeah. it's really everything I do has been a reflection in many ways of my experience working at Himmelhose. I mean that sincerely because it built my confidence. You know, I went on to become an operations manager uh, for a subsidiary was this of Ford. In Northland, no. what what store? I was in I was in um, Birmingham downtown and um, Dearborn. The three mm -hmm. stores, yeah. But then after uh, your career at the store, yeah. I, it's funny, but I think we were all taught a sense of professionalism, and we reinforced it in each other. Oh, we did. And, you know, even afterwards, when your mother had the temporary agency, I cannot not talk about that because that was very influential. I mean, she introduced me to this business, and we did well, you know, and she... She was just such a strong and such a remarkable woman. Who is that? Your wife, Isabel. Oh, she was... She kept you busy, didn't she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> she uh, did. She was great. I just remember that smile and that oh, laugh. Oh my Those were some God. fun days. And playing the piano. And um, you know her needlepoint even. Oh, yes. and, you know, oh, at yeah. the Birmingham We're surrounded by it here. Yeah, at go the ahead. Birmingham <laughs> store, Shirley Guest was wonderful, yes. taught me needlepoint. Your mother helped me and uh, I mean just but her pieces Shirley when I Shirley Guest. Yes. Wasn't she great? Mm-hmm. She was awesome. She was very good. And your needlepoint business was extremely, I mean, the oh, designers I, I, that came in that, I mean, you don't yeah. think of needlepoint and designers, but I mean. But that was, uh, Isabel was. Oh, she was great, awesome. Great on it. Yes, and she was. I didn't even know your mother yeah. knit. She yeah. knitted the sweater. Yeah, the sweater I'm wearing was knit by my mom. It's a. Um, silk ribbon, right? Silk ribbon that she knit, and uh, she she would whip something like this off in a day. It would just be. Did cool. she ever get like carpal tunnel or anything with her? No, fingers? she started. Uh, she did get some arthritis in her hands as she got older, but that you know even even yeah. that didn't stop her. She was so prolific. Do you um, want to feature yeah, some I of do. her In work? Fact, I'm going to get up and. Um, I think the animals would be awesome. To yeah, visit. I'm going to kind of do a little walk okay. around. Well, we're so we are at. Um, we're we're at my dad's apartment and we are uh filled with uh uh, uh surrounded by much of my mom's needlepoint so i'll start right here which you've seen in the background but my mom made every one of these pieces yeah. they're geometric uh needlepoint designs and they're I mean, just the oh way. no you're not That's in the way denise but this is yeah and and actually i'll i'll go around here this is a three-dimensional piece the uh the work it actually comes out at you and uh uh this is just but some of the animals, animals. i love the yeah animals. these are the oh, over here this is this is the like, wildlife co collection she did she loved to do jungle animals and her pillows Oh, I'll show those yeah. also. Those. Yeah, so I'm just trying to kind of your mother pan, was... but she was just this is all needlepoint, and she she just had this remarkable talent in the. Uh, she always was such an artist, and uh, I mean her. I she, think Rhoda designed a lot of her canvases. Yeah, her, her cousin, cousin Rhoda. There's Rhoda. also. Um, uh, let's see. Here's another three-dimensional piece over here. But she had such an of a peacock. Color, and I think that's why she. She was did so the good the chair fashion. down there. She had some a full set of eight dining room chairs that we no longer have um, because we had to downsize. But she just has so many beautiful pieces. Did you, how about um, her pillow here? This is cute. Uh, yes. Uh, Real women don't have hot flashes. They have power surges. <laughs> <laughs> that was your mother. Uh, that was mom. Here's uh, just on the couch, um, some beautiful just pillows everywhere. Of yeah, she had an Here's eye. another one. What's this one say? It says, uh, housework done correctly can kill you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is funny. Or even the, um, the, this one's the portrait beautiful. she did. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the, the family, family portrait. portrait. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, here's some more. Here. Yeah, let's She'll see if we can. Light. I don't know if it does much good. Uh, here's a, this one's a beautiful, I'll turn it sideways here, beautiful piece. This is a family portrait that she did of us in back in, in 1971. It's kind of dark here. But anyway, uh, there's, there's, there's pieces of hers in every room. This is just a snapshot. So you, you get, uh, hi Sherry, nice to see you. Yeah, she was um, so talented, your mother. I mean, she really yeah. was. She, who, who was this? Isabel, your wife. Who was kind to her? Oh no, was, she was talented. Oh, yeah. Not yeah, to she, mention all the music and the oh, theater the production direction that she did. Oh, you know, yeah. And yeah. she supported theater. She supported art. She supported everything. everything. Yeah. yeah, she was She here. even started the music program, helped to start the music program at Oakland University, which at the time was the uh, Michigan right. State University Oakland campus. I forgot all about that. Yeah. 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 And late 50s, I yeah. Think. So anyway, I guess... Then. Any other closing thoughts before we uh, just about uh, 
Looking back at your career, is there is there a high point of your career as a buyer at Himmelhaus? That I just think the whole experience. Yeah. Um, it exposed me to fashion, to people, I, and opportunity that I would not have had anywhere else. So I'm forever grateful to you know to you really, Mr. Charles, and to your wife. No, I mean that seriously. <laughs> You know, you've made a difference in a lot of people's lives, and you you know, you really did. Oh, oh, Kelly says, bring them on camera. What, you're not able to see? Oh, can you see us? The camera? Yeah. Sure, I guess so. Well, oh, it's, I could, it's like frozen here. Yeah, this. well, I, I'm showing it on my end. I guess... Yeah. At this point, uh, we're running out of time, maybe. Well, yeah, there really isn't a time limit, but I think that if we're getting this technology snafu, we'll, <laughs> we'll kind of a call it to a close. Yeah, well, so thank you for inviting me. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, Molly, uh, thank yeah. you, and love seeing you. <laughs> oh, thank you for joining us all the way from California. Yeah, we're so, right no, Molly, no. Re you remember Molly Muir. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. 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 So Molly and I were friends since age three. <laughs> so she's she's uh, lives in uh, the San Diego area, and she's on joining us. So it's early yeah, her time. Up early. Her, yeah. Her yeah. mother and father were most our closest friends. Yeah. 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 That's why I think I remember meeting her. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. See her in the store. Yes. Exactly. And her mother. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Denise. Okay, well, I'm glad to be able to. Uh, thank you, everybody who was able to join us live. <laughs> Molly said, I wouldn't miss it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. You have a great day. Bye-bye.